Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about separable differential equations. So separable differential equations. So there are several types of differential equations that we'll solve. Uh, the first type that we typically learn to solve is the separable type. Um, so a, a differential equation is separable if it can be written in the following form. So dy dx equals, and basically you can separate it. You have a pure function of x times a pure function of y. So if you have a de that can be written in this way, we say it's separable because you can separate the variables. And the idea is, uh, to solve it, what you would do is you want to have all the stuff with x on one side by itself times dx equal to uh, the stuff with only y, so with y, dy. So you want all the x's on one side, all the y's on one side, and the dx with the x's and the dy with the y's. So let's illustrate that in this example here. So if we were to try to do that, we would divide by g of y and multiply by dx. That would give us dy over g of y equals f of x times dx. And we have accomplished our goal. Right? Our goal was to have uh, all the stuff with y dy equal to some stuff with x dx. Then you integrate both sides and then you go from there. Let's go ahead and do a simple example so you see how this actually works in practice. So the problem at hand is dy dx equals a y times 2 plus sine x. So right away we can see it's separable, right? This is your g of y and this is your f of x, right? So it's easy to separate. So we'll start maybe by dividing by y and multiplying by dx. When we do that, that gives us dy over y, right, dividing by y, and multiplying by dx gives us two plus sine x dx. Okay, so now we're in a good place, right? We have uh, a pure function of y and dy equal to a pure function of x dx. So integrating both sides. So when we integrate the left hand side, we get the natural log of the absolute value of y. Now you can add a plus c here. Let's say I added a plus c1 here. Then over here I would add maybe a plus c2. Then you can just subtract the c's and combine them and then call it c. So it's not necessary to add plus c to both sides. Uh, typically you only add it to one side. Okay, we have to integrate 2, so that's just going to be 2x. And when we're integrating the sine function, we have to ask ourselves, what is a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this is going to be negative cosine. That way, when you take the derivative, you get negative negative sine, so you get, so you get sine. Then we add our arbitrary constant, capital C. This would be an acceptable answer. This is called and implicit solution to the differential equation because we have not solved uh, for y. Uh, let me show you how to solve for y. So to solve for y, what you would do, let me rewrite it again. This is equal to 2x minus cosine x plus c. So to solve for y, um, you have to get rid of the natural logarithm. So what you do is you exponentiate both sides. So you put an e here and you put an e here. And then this entire right-hand piece is actually an exponent. These cancel, you get the absolute value of y. This is equal to e to the 2x minus cosine x times, and then e to the c, right? If you're wondering where the times comes from, it's because when you multiply these, you add the exponents. Think simple. If you had e to the x times e to the y, that would be e to the x plus y. It's the same thing here. This is your x and this is your y. So when you add them, you get e to the x plus y. So it's the same thing. The multiplication turns into addition of exponents. When we drop the absolute value, we always get a plus or a minus. So we get y equals 
plus or minus e to the c, I'm putting it in the front, and this is e to the 2x minus cosine x. Now, if you're wondering why you get a plus or minus, let me, let me explain that, um, because most people just memorize it. Say you had the absolute value of x uh, equal to 2. So if you think of the absolute value of x as the distance between x and 0, you're saying that x is a number whose distance from 0 is 2. There's two numbers who have a distance of 2 from 0. Those numbers are 2 or negative 2. Likewise here, the absolute value of y is equal to this stuff over here. So y is equal to this stuff or the opposite of that stuff. At this point, we can rename our arbitrary constant. You can call this whatever you want, but just don't call it c because we've already used c. I'm going to call it k. You're allowed to rename constants. So this is k times e to the 2x minus cosine x. And if you want to be specific, you can tell the reader what your k is. So k is plus or minus e to the c. And so that would be the final answer to the differential equation. So separable differential equations are a very popular class of differential equations. And the idea is um, if you can separate the variables, let's go back up and look at it again. If you can do something like this, um, it's separable and you can solve it provided you can perform the integration. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful.